Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. We begin this hour with the family's heartbreak after a woman was shot and killed in that Chick-fil-A drive through this morning in Rome. Now, police say the shooter then killed himself. Family members say the victim is a 39-year-old Cassie Davis, and she's a mother of seven. Fox 5's Tyler Finger is live where it happened. All right, Tyler, you spoke with that family. Can't imagine the pain they're going through. What did they share with you? Yeah, hey, Eric, good afternoon to you. Cassie Davis's mom tells me that she uh, still has not had all of the emotions sink in yet. She still is trying to wrap her head around what happened. And she says that she never expected her daughter to be shot and killed by a man that the family describes as a jealous ex-boyfriend. Hours after Cassie Davis was shot and killed in this Rome Chick-fil-A drive through this smile is how friends and family have chosen to remember her. She didn't have a mean bone in her body. She was, she was everybody's friend. Kathy Walters is in complete shock that her daughter was killed in what Rome police have called an apparent murder-suicide. We lost a very sweet lady. She was a good mother of seven. Adam Carey from the Rome News Tribune provided these pictures of the scene to us. Investigators say at around 7 Wednesday morning, 56-year-old Anthony Green shot Davis while she was in her car in the Chick-fil-A drive through on Shorter Avenue. Detectives then say Green turned the gun on himself. He just wouldn't leave her alone. That's one thing. She told me yesterday that he was uh, following her around. Nobody thinks anymore. They're killing children. They're killing adults. There was more women out there. There no use in taking her away. The family describes Green as an ex-boyfriend who couldn't let go. Her death has hit the close family hard. And I know she's in heaven, but that don't have my heart and nobody else's. Things like a dream. I just want to wake up. Police say the incident had nothing to do with this Chick-fil-A, and Davis was just here getting breakfast this morning. Davis had seven children ranging in age from 5 to 18, and now the family is just trying to uh, stay together and hold each other up after this tragedy this morning. We're live in Rome this afternoon. Tyler Fingert, Fox 5 News. Seven kids without a mom. Tyler, thanks so much. County mother raising seven children killed this morning and what police have called a murder suicide and the tragedy happened outside of the Chick-fil-A in Rome. Teresa Bowles talked to the mother's family this afternoon and Teresa, when you hear about something like this, it is just heartbreaking. How is this family making sense of this tragic shooting? Well, Cassie Davis was raising four kids of her own, plus three of her grandkids, according to her husband. And now he's got to answer some impossible questions for them. What do you say when your granddaughter says, Daddy, do you have, uh, 
Do you have Jesus' number? Because I want to talk to Mama one more time. Jackson Davis was married to Cassie for 12 years, but the pair were currently separated. He's now bracing himself for more tough conversation. I went through this 19 years ago telling my older kids about their mama passing away in a car wreck in three days, and I'm having to do it again. Around 7 this morning, Rome police say 56-year-old Anthony Wayne Green shot and killed Cassie Davis while she was in her car, then himself, here outside this Chick-fil-A, leaving seven children without the woman they called mom. According to police, Green and Davis were in a relationship. Doug Walters was the youngest of Cassie's six siblings, but says he was protective of his sister. I'm just truly lost for words. My mind can I still don't want to develop, you know, what's really took place. I mean, it just feels like I'm in a, I'm in a dream and need to wake up. And now Jackson has to figure out how to raise another set of kids without their mother, but he says he's giving everything to God. A man that would take the life uh, away from their babies and then pull a gun on himself, that's not justice, that's coward. The Chick-fil-A did close for the day after the shooting and plans to reopen tomorrow. The motive for this shooting is unknown, and I did reach back out to Rome Police for an update and have not heard back. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.